Okay, here it goes. Again, this is Christian Ready, and this is um, Launch Pad Astronomy. All right, so here we go. In 2017, Oumuamua became the first observed interstellar object to pass through our solar system. Now that alone would have made it one for the books, but it didn't behave like anything we'd seen before. Several ideas were put forward to explain its origin, including as a chunk of hydrogen ice, a giant fractal snowflake, and even a discarded lightsaber. But none of these satisfactorily explained Oumuamua's origin, especially the alien lightsail. Sorry, but now a team of astronomers may have finally figured it all out. Oumuamua wasn't exotic at all. It was just a fragment of nitrogen ice that was shattered from an icy Pluto-like dwarf planet in a young star system in the Perseus arm of the galaxy and ejected into interstellar space half a billion years ago. I mean, who didn't know that? <laughs> Even this guy said, whoa, come on, man, you know, wake up, be real. How could anybody possibly come up with that explanation? And wait till you see what it is, it'll blow your mind. Okay, that does sound kind of exotic. But yeah. as we'll see, this new analysis not only explains Oumuamua's origin and strange behavior, but suggests that these kinds of objects may be more common than previously thought. All right, so he's going to go on to explain why this makes sense. Well, I'm going to show you what really makes sense. You see this? This is a heavy lobe. He's talking about aliens seriously. And he's talking about Amaru Maru maybe being an alien spacecraft. As you can imagine, a Harvard professor going on record, aliens exist, caused quite a stir in the scientific community. On this episode, we talk through this con controversy with Loeb and why he thinks we need to invest more in the search for alien life by developing the field of space archaeology. Well, it, it, yes, I agree with that. And I'm going to show you, Omaru Maru is actually a body part. All right, here it is right here. The, when they come back in from the spacewalks, they end up saying that the particles clinging to their suits have the aroma of seared steak, hot metal welding fumes. It's the gases, just like cooking off on your gas grill if there was no oxygen. Avi Loeb's 100% correct. Archaeology, the study of human history and prehistory through the excavation of sites and analysis of artifacts and other physical remains. That's exactly what Amaru Maru is, and so is Comet 67P. And I have examined them very carefully, and I know exactly what they are, and you will in a second. Okay, in a minute we're going to be looking at Amaru Maru, but right now, this goes back to 2015. This was Comet 67P. Now, here is the gases exuding out of, and it's not dust, it's not dust blowing off, it's actually cooking the blood vessels. This is the artery. You see it blowing out of here? These are the little tiny blood vessels that come up to service the, the blood tissue for the muscles and the tendons and so forth. This feeds the entire thing. There's no blood boiling off of here. There's nothing boiling off of here. There's no dust. There's nothing. You see that? It's because it has to come out of the little tubes that were where the blood was coming up to feed. And I'll show you this as an anatomical structure, and then we're going to look at Omaru Maru. All right, he's up at Harvard or somewhere around there. They should be able to find somebody that knows what a tendon enthesis looks like. And that is it right there. And that is a little bundle, I believe, of muscle. These are the tendon fibers, and they break off where the major part of the muscle starts to take over. That's basically an abrupt transition. All of this is the red, um, bloody blood vessel, uh, blood cells that erode out of these tendon fibers. And this right here, I believe, is a muscle bundle that came up to sort of, I don't know. But um, it, this, they did the, um, the chemistry on this. This is 100% biological. They know that. It's all organic. And they have no other explanation for it. Now, I showed you where the boiling off was of the 
um, blood vessels, and that's what services all these tissues up in here. And one of them was the main artery that comes down from above that services the whole whatever it was. Okay, my friends, this is a shocker, but it's true. They said there was battles in the heavens with the giants that were standing on the moon and crazy stuff like that. And I'm going to tell you right now, as far as I can determine, it's pretty accurate. The dragon in the desert's over a thousand miles long. Quetzalcoatl on the east coast of the United States is like 2,000 miles long, something like that. Now, this is a Maru Maru. It is a finger. That's a finger. Now, how can I claim this with a straight face? No, I'll show you why. That is a grip skin. Friction skin, they call it, which is the thick pad skin on your fingertip. And that is a fingertip. And it's eroded off here, all the way down to the tendons and the apical tuft. This right here is the apical tuft. It sits right there. And all of these little tendon balls have these little straps to run off them. And they run down your finger so your finger can do all these little fancy little things. That's because you have to have something anchored somewhere to pull against it. Now, what happened here? You see this white looking stuff? The white looking stuff comes down and it sort of balls up here with all these little fiber looking straps. Those are little tendon straps. That is right there in your finger. And that's what gives you the ability to do that. They pull against these tendons. That's a tendon strap. This is a tendon running down this way. All the way down to the other end of your finger. Now, what is this down here? This it actually would roll right over the back of your finger. Right there, right there. That would roll. And that bone is pulled basically right off. That's, uh, I would think that would be the vein which has usually the black blood, black, it turns black, and that it would be the artery. And up here you can see a little bit of black, and up here is blackish. I'm guessing at that, but this I'm not guessing at. That is a finger. And I showed this to one of the top anatomists, as far as, far as I'm concerned, in the world. And he said, that's the fingeriest looking finger I've ever seen. So... That's what it is. Now, these I believe both are like the little tendons coming over the top too. These kind of these these ones here. Now, I think this he's right. Avi Loeb's talking about archaeology in space. He's correct.